So what's the Himaway Escape? Super easy to maneuver. Hub motor is pretty quiet. That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with EV tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today we're reviewing the Himaway Escape Pro step-through electric bike. The Himaway Escape Pro is a fat tire, moped style electric bike meant for both off-road and street riding. In this video, we'll discuss the features and let you know whether the Himaway Escape Pro is worth the price. At full disclosure, the bike in this video was sent to us by Himaway. We didn't purchase it with our own money. We haven't received any cash or other forms of compensation in exchange for this video. And no one has had any pre-approval or conditions on the contents of this video before it was released. So let's get to it. New unboxing, the Himaway Escape Pro. This is nice. Hardware. Put the handlebars on. Now we have to add the headlight. Okay, this goes here. We got a hat, bike tool, and here are the pedals. You have done that yourself. You have your power levels right here, access to the charging port, 48 volt, 17.5 amp hour. Nice little LCD display, power levels, headlight, taillight. You have this little rear rack over here. Seat feels pretty comfortable. Dual suspension, air forks. You have your mag style rims. It feels pretty comfortable actually. Half twist throttle, black grips, faux leather style, dual disc brakes, little bell. Pretty much it, assembly was really easy. Just had to put the front wheel on, put the handlebars on, put the pedals on. You do need a 15 millimeter wrench to remove the axle nuts. You know, a few little minor scratches on two places, but that's kind of like common with the way these things are shipped nowadays. So before we get into our first ride, let's go over the specs. The Himaway Escape Pro is a 750 watt e-bike with a top speed of 26 miles per hour unlocked. The bike is powered by a removable 48 volt, 17.5 amp hour battery. The Himaway Escape Pro looks like other moped style step through bikes in its class and features an integrated rear rack with a payload capacity of about 330 pounds. The frame is made from 6061 aluminum and is a step through, making it accessible to riders of all sizes. As far as components go, the Himaway Escape Pro has a Shimano 7 speed transmission system, front suspension fork, dual suspension shocks, mechanical brakes, a half twist throttle, integrated headlight and taillight, a Velo soft saddle, fenders on both wheels, 20 by 4 inch Kenda tire with mag style aluminum alloy wheels and an LCD display. There's a way to change the speed settings. If you turn the bike on, you hold plus and minus down for two seconds, then the display will change and you press minus and I at the same time for two seconds. And then you get this, uh, enter the password, 0510. So 051. Zero, adjust plus or minus. The wheel size is set at its default 23, we'll keep it there. This L5, 35, so I'm assuming that's miles per hour. We bump that up to 40 miles per hour. Maybe we hold it down, okay. So we are on power level one. Let's see how that feels. The pedal assist is pretty strong. <laughs> Let's just bump it up to power level five. So power level five. That feels pretty good. 23, 22, 25, 26, 27, 26 miles. This definitely has a lot of power. I think more power than the Mi Bike, in my opinion. I think the tune is really smooth. If you're coming from maybe something that's not as powerful or smaller, you want to start off on a lower power level just to get used to it. Definitely going uphill at full power had no issues climbing it. I think I hit 27 miles per hour or something going downhill. I, I'm, this might not be accurate, so it probably can go a little bit faster. Very easy to handle. My turning radius is super, super easy to maneuver. Hub motor is pretty quiet for the most part. You definitely hear it. 
I've definitely seen the brand Himalay in a few YouTube videos. Uh, our buddy Alex at Detroit Moped Works, they also sell this brand and he's gotten some positive feedback. In terms of looks, the Escape Pro comes only in matte black with subtle branding on the sides. On first glance, this looks like other moped style e-bikes in its class, but the all black everything design makes it feel a little more stylish. Adding pegs to the rear shocks and a cushion on the rack would make it suitable to transport a passenger. The display shows all the typical data you'll need and has good visibility even in the sun. Range is marketed at 50 plus miles on full charge with pedal assist mode and around 30 miles with throttle only. We do like how the removable battery is integrated on the bottom of the frame, which gives it a clean, minimalist appearance. So now that we've covered the specs, let's take it out for a ride. So right off the bat, even on power level one, I'm getting a lot of power here, not so much on the pedal assist, but uh, throttle wise, I'm getting definitely some uh, serious torque. We'll just bump it up to power level five because why not? <laughs> Very impressed with how this thing is climbing this hill. The power distribution, the tune on this feels really smooth. This thing is just super comfortable. Seriously, like uh, the comfort level, you know, the front and rear suspension are like working perfectly. Uh, now you are working with, I believe, 20 by four inch wheels. So you have the fat tire and that's perfect for this kind of terrain. Uneven roads, potholes in the roads. Michigan streets are notorious for not being really well kept. So this is uh, perfect for this kind of terrain here. And I'm maxing out at about 26 miles per hour, which will definitely keep up with traffic just kind of going, you know, on streets like this where the, uh, you know, we're not really going that fast. Now this bike is powered by a 750 watt motor and the battery is a 48 volt battery. <laughs> I believe the amp hours are 17.5 amp hours, so not a whole lot, but um, it should be good enough if you're just uh, you know running it on kind of lower power levels and if you're using pedal assist. It does say you can get up to 30 to 50 miles depending on how fast you're going, your terrain, and your weight which seems about right for this bike. It also has a Shimano seven speed transmission, which as you know, in previous videos, we typically keep it at, you know, level one or two, since we're really just relying on the throttle and our pedal assist. Man, I can't say enough about this uh, pedal assist. It really kicks in. Um, some people don't like that, you know, some people like sort of a smoother pedal assist throttle, but I kind of like that it kicks in just like that. And it makes you feel like you have some sort of like bionic abilities with your legs because you just instantly get that torque assist. So yeah, that, uh, that feels really good, especially on like smoother roads. Um, if you want a little bit more control and you want to like uh, modulate your power with, uh, you know, with the actual hand throttle, then I would keep it at, you know, something like even just level one pedal assist now. I'm not even sure if level one is giving me anything. It feels like it is. It feels like it's giving me just a very subtle pedal assist. So it's all throttle at that point. So if you're used to just throttling, definitely keep it at level one. In terms of comfort, the suspension is just eating up all this uneven terrain right now. You can see there's like potholes and like just uneven roads and the seat, the saddle feels really good. The dual suspension feels really good. And these rear shocks feel perfect. So just the combination of all those things make this a really, really comfortable ride. I mean, I would definitely take this off road. I would hesitate to say that this bike is just for the casual rider. I think even if you're experienced with like high powered e-bikes, I think this would uh, satisfy you, especially with this speed unlock that I did. Um, it's, it feels like it's capping us up at, uh, you know, 26 miles per hour. Looks like uh, the speedometer is evenly matched up, calibrated. Twenty-three miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels like it's uh, unlocked for sure. All right, so we're going uphill. It's Twenty miles per hour ish. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. 
24, 25, so I'll get hitting 25, going uphill now. Try to level out here, see what our top speed is when we level out. 24 miles per hour. 25, 26. Go get 27. Oh, maxing out at 26. About 26 miles per hour is our top speed. Not bad. So overall, really impressed with the quality and the performance of this brand. Himaway, like, you know, Mi Bike or Fido or any of these kind of newish brands. This definitely feels like a step above in terms of like quality. And I'm really impressed by the performance. So whatever controller they're using and whatever they're using to tune this bike uh, feels really good. So our first impressions are that the Himaway Escape Pro is a blast to ride, has a great controller tune, and performs as good as more well-known brands. The 750 watt hub motor performs as expected, and the dual suspension gives surprisingly great control and traction for street riding. The range from the 48 volt battery really depends on things like weight and terrain, and of course your level of pedal assist power. If you do the speed unlock, expect a decrease in range as well. Himaway has been around for quite some time, and if you're in the Detroit metro area, definitely check them out at Detroit Moped Works, as they're an authorized dealer. If you're new to e-bikes, purchasing through DMW will not only give you a chance to test ride, but they also fully assemble and inspect every bike to ensure the best customer service. If you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.